So as you can imagine, seven inch tablets aren't quite as popular as they used to be. Main reason being most cell phones are getting close to that seven inch mark now, but you still have companies like Lenovo still coming out with their Tab M7. And this is the third generation. It comes with a MediaTek MT8166 processor. This one comes with Android Go 11, 1024 by 600 IPS seven inch HD screen, 350 nits, two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, only a two megapixel camera on the front and back. So I'm not really expecting a lot there. And you've got just under 4,000 milliamp hours for the battery. This one's currently just under 110 bucks, but I'll leave a link in the description with current pricing and more information. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, yeah, that is pretty tiny. Unfortunately, they still haven't switched to USB-C charging on this one, which seems a little strange in 2021, but it is what it is. Micro SD card, removal tool, and then of course, safety, warranty, and quick start guide. And then of course, your USB wall adapter. I mean, look how small this thing is. It's like a baby. Now the nice thing is the back on here is a metal material and build quality actually feels pretty good. You've got a headphone jack here on the top. Power and volume button there on the right hand side. Micro SD card tray there on the left hand side. Charging port and microphone there on the bottom. Then there in the middle is your front facing camera and your front facing speaker. When setting up you're going to get pattern, pen, and password. Let me give you a quick size comparison next to the Tab MA HD. As you can see, the eight inch pretty much dwarfs the seven inch, but obviously the seven inch is gonna be a lot easier to handle. Just like regular Android, it's gonna let you do gesture navigation, two button navigation, and three button navigation. Interesting little search animation there. Left of the home screen, this is actually pretty interesting. It's actually a collection of stuff to watch, games to play, or books to read. Looks like it's using about 26% of the storage right out of the box. And then here it is next to my Goxy S21 Plus. So yeah, as you can see, definitely larger than a cell phone, but not by a lot. This is definitely one of the only tablets I've seen that has one speaker right where the earpiece would be, which seems a little bit strange, but oddly enough, it's fairly loud for what it is. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best sound in the world, but it's decent for a tablet this size. In the notification shade, you're gonna get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, auto rotate, nearby share, eye protection mode, dark theme, location, screenshot, screen record. And this does have Dolby Atmos with a few different modes to choose from, focus mode, battery saver, and screencast. Now, when you swipe up, you're gonna see all the pre-installed apps here. And luckily they don't put a lot on here because it's only 32 gigabytes. You'll also notice some of these apps actually say go on it, which because this is Android Go 11, a lot of these apps are lighter versions. And you also got Kidspace on here, which I know some people are probably looking specifically for tablets with that. Now to me, just moving around the software so far does feel a little bit sluggish. Now obviously if you're gonna get this for your kids, they might not care as much. But if you're a teenager or an adult, it's just something to keep in mind. But I gotta say for a 720p resolution screen, the screen actually doesn't look that bad. They also have some tips in here in case you're not familiar with Lenovo tablets. Overall text on here isn't too bad as well, even for a 720p resolution screen. 
Although I gotta admit, just when using this, it sort of feels like a wide phone versus a tablet. Green on here definitely isn't the brightest. You're probably not gonna wanna take this outside, but I feel like indoors, it definitely gets the job done. Now it looks like you can get some popular games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, but unfortunately there is no Asphalt 9. You have to settle for Asphalt 8 instead of 9. It also looks like you can get Roblox, Minecraft, a lot of other popular games. Surprisingly, this little tablet is actually pretty decent at gaming. The graphics actually look fine on here. Do the graphics load a little bit slower than some other tablets? Maybe. Is this the most powerful tablet you're going to get at this size? Probably not. But is it still fun to play games? Yeah, I actually thought it was. But with this being a 7 inch tablet, I'm not really sure who they're targeting with this. Maybe if you don't want to give your phone to your kids, this would be a great option. Or if you want something a little bit larger than your phone. For reading, it might be okay. Again, the resolution is kind of low. I don't know, it might be okay for some people. For me, I always like the bigger tablets. In the camera app, it's pretty simple. You've got portrait, photo, video, and translate. Here's just a few samples of photos and video, just to give you an idea of what to expect. So after testing this on photos and video, I was actually surprised it even looked this good. I mean, remember, this is only two megapixels on the front and rear facing cameras. Again, if you're gonna be doing stuff like Zoom meetings, Microsoft Teams, any kind of video conferencing, you definitely wanna use your cell phone. The quality is just gonna look a lot better. So should you buy this tablet? Well, I mean, if you're looking for a seven inch Android tablet, this really isn't a bad option. And yeah, I'd probably pick this over something like a Fire HD 7. It's really gonna come down to personal preference, what you're gonna be using this for. But just keep in mind, you could go up to the next one, which is their Tab M8. They've got an HD and Full HD version that I think would be a little bit better than this tablet. But if you're specifically looking for a 7 inch tablet, there's not a lot of options out there. And this one's really not that bad for what it is. I feel like the build quality on this one is actually pretty good. Screen is decent. Speaker's not the best, but it's loud enough. The only other 7 inch tablet I can think of offhand is the one from Amazon, the Fire 7. And I feel like the app selection is probably going to be a little bit better on this versus what you're going to get from the Amazon App Store. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.